What's going on, beautiful people? And thank you for tuning in and watching and listening to my rants and rambles. I got one for you guys here today. The prison guard that's keeping people in prison. That's keeping them choked. The clock. The clock. The clock. Look at society. Look at the flow of society. Look at the pulsation of society. Look at the flow of people, humans, in, in human societies. It is all dictated by the clock. All of it. The whole fucking thing from when you wake up to when you get into your car. And I have roommates here. You know, one of them, one of them, no, both of them, they work, right? They work full time. I fucking know their schedule like on the dot. I know when they're gonna be in the kitchen making their food. I know when they wake up. I know when they leave the house. I know it. And that's like most people because I know they work full-time jobs. So it's their entire existence as human beings is dictated by this thing. Now me, I kind of live very chaotically and I've sort of picked up that that's their schedule, you know? And here's the thing. Let us fucking, let me tell you something about life. Life doesn't give a fuck. Nature, which we all come from nature. We all evolved from the Big Bang, right? We were one single atom. Nature, the universe, you know, literally the universe, the physical universe, doesn't give a fuck about time. It's just, it just is. It's just going about. It's just evolving. You know, it doesn't care. It, there's, you know, you know, like, it doesn't care, man. It doesn't care. Right? Here comes an ice age. Here goes another one. Here's a warm phase. Here's another cold one. Do, 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 do. Change is the only constant in life, right? And, li and life, you know, flows in many different ways and many different, different shapes and forms and, and, and unfolds very unpredictably, right? Like, you can't really predict... You know, here in, in Canada, try and fucking predict the weather, man. You go check the weather network, fucking Christ, man. Every time is different. If I check right now the weather is going to be in two days and I check it again tomorrow, I'll get something different. Go, like, pro sometimes completely different. You know? And we somehow expect humans to abide, to... restrict themselves and their existence to a certain set of behavior when in reality if you like live according to nature and you flow with life you will find that every day you wake up and your mood is different and what you want to do is different and what you want to wear is different and what the music you want to listen to is different if you tune yourself into life if you flow with life you will see that. You will see. You will wake up and every day is different. Every day is different. Some days you want to go and kill it in the gym. Now I'm talking about me here, right? So some days I want to I wake up, I want to kill it in the gym. I'm waking up, I'm a fucking barbarian. All that love shit, all that consciousness, forget it. I'm up and I want to be fucking barbaric. And that's that. And I go do my barbaric thing. And within the same day. I could turn into this sweet, flowery, loving thing on the same day where it's like, yeah, all that barbaric shit, all that animal shit, what the fuck? It's stupid. Another day I might wake up and I might feel like making 10 videos, which happens to me. Just the force. That's the force. That's the flow of life. Make 10 videos. Boom. 10 videos. I just, I'm in a philosophical state. I want to talk. Another day I'll wake up and I want to dance. Fuck everything, man. Just put music on and fucking dance and dance and dance. The flow of life, the universe, the, the Tao. This is how it's doing its thing through this thing that we collect or we agreed to call Said. Same thing with you. Same thing with everybody. Right? That stuff, the flow of life is always changing, ever changing. And change is the only constant in life. It is what it is. It's the Tao. It's the way. It is what it is. It, it, and it is 
See, that's why I love dancing, right? Because it's like you, you realize, you realize like boom, 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 boom. It's all dance, it's all shifting and, and, and changing and shifting and changing and shifting and changing and shifting and changing. And it's never the same, right? But we try to get this thing here, okay? This fucking prison guard. You got to come in here, clock in by nine o'clock. So we get rush hour before, of course, right? Which to me is the ritual dance to the corporate masters. That's what it is. It's real. It's a religion. Capitalism, the way it is right now, is a religion. The corporate structure and in the flow of society, it's a religion. And people are paying their, they're praying. It's a, it's a religious dance. Like, have you guys seen? You know, if if you're Muslim watching this, or you know, if not, you've probably seen like. How they go around the uh, the Kaaba, right? They go around it, and it's a religious thing. And I've I've been there before, and it's magnificent. Uh, the vibes are, oof, they'll get you high, man, right? Well, the the dance that we're doing right now is this. We're dancing to the corporate masters, and this is a religious ceremony where we get to get behind our cars and. Da, 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 da. You turn on your radio and that's kind of the music that everybody's playing. Most people are around you there, they have the radio, right? And da, 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 right? You're dancing, 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 you know, it takes you an hour. You're just dancing in the car, right? Like you're paying your dues and respects and uh, gratitude even to your corporate masters. And it doesn't seem like gratitude because you're fucking pissed and all angry and shit. But in a way it is. You're praying to your corporate masters. And it's this thing that they, that, that, that's the prison they keep you in. And it's this clock here. That's the prison guard. So they tell you, you gotta be clock in by nine. And if you come in like uh, 15 minutes late, you get somebody like this, right? Standing like this. <sighs> hey, how's it going? Um, it's 9.15 right now. Uh, you were supposed to be here uh, 15 minutes ago. And then you're left there, standing there, you feel like fucking, you, you start to cleanse in and, and, and tense up, right? You're like, um, yeah, I just, um, uh, you know, there was traffic and I, I was just late. And then, and then the guy's standing there like, oh, well, this can't be happening again. You know, you, you, we can't have this, you know, it's, you gotta be here at nine o'clock. And just the feeling that you get this, like, uh, you know, like uh, you're superior, like this person is your superior and you're their inferior and just the feeling you clench in and you contract and you just feel it's degrading, right? It's degrading. And then, you know, they tell you here, 12 o'clock, take your lunch, get half an hour or an hour if you're lucky and you got to come back right away and boom, perform your duties. And then five o'clock, we let you go. This is the prison guard. The clock is the prison guard. Meanwhile, what's going on in this person's life is today, maybe they're having some digestive issues and man, they would rather just like kind of stay at home, do some fasting, do some cleansing. The flow of life is telling them, hey, relax, go cleanse, you know, let me fix you up. Let me, you know, increase your immunity here. So relax for a couple of days. Meanwhile, that's what's going on here. That's what you should be doing to like get back on track. But on the other hand, because of this, Right? You gotta be there and you gotta go against the flow of life that's going through you. Another day you wake up and man, like you feel like you wanna fucking run and exercise. And guess what? <laughs> you gotta be in fucking, you gotta be in the office. You know, it's really, you know, things happen, things happen. You know, you might have a family and you wake up one day and you gotta take your baby to the, you gotta take your child to the hospital or something. Right now, you can take a day off, but really, like, people are going to be expecting you to come back, right? They'll let you out of the prison for a little bit, but they're going to expect you. But what if your child needs you for, like, a year now? What if you need to be with your, with your wife for a year or with your old mom that's dying, right? It's like, but this, this is going to keep you. And, and if they let you out of the prison, they give you time. Okay, you better come back in three weeks. We'll give you three weeks, deal with it as if it's going to be dealt with in three weeks as if they know they can see into the future right but after three weeks we expect you to be back in here and be bound by this thing so here three weeks and three weeks is just a clock right three weeks is the clock going around 
right? I mean, if, if it's 24 hours, if we're taking a, a, you know, a clock, a watch is 12, right? So it goes on twice. Uh, but if we're taking a clock that goes on 24 hours, then three weeks, it's just it, it going around 23 times. It's still the fucking clock. So this goes around 23 times. After it goes around 23 times, you're, you're ours again. You're ours again. So, um, as you can see, you know, people's entire lives are dependent on this, right? And, and same thing, like, you know, you got to start school in September, right? And you got to finish it in April, you know? And, and, and so there's eight months, nine months there of, of, of studying, of school. And it's the same thing, right? Nine months is just a clock going around, whatever. You do the math, right? And within that, those nine months, you're going by the clock like this. Now, look, the clock... If you look what the clock really represents, it represents the sun. If you think about it, it represents the sun. That's what it is. That's what it is. It represents, okay, well, this is the, you know, this is when the morning starts, when the day ends, 5 p.m. And so that's the clock. But we lost connection with the fucking thing. We lost connection with the sun. We lost connection with the moon. We lost connection with the stars. We lost connection with nature. We lost connection with the trees. We lost connection with our nature. Because if we're connected to the sun, and if we're connected to the stars, and if we're connected to the moon, I'll tell you this, we would not be organizing society the way we're organizing it right now. Because we would realize it's fucked up, it's wrong. Like this is just not, this is not what our bodies agree with, not what our minds agree with, our brains. We wouldn't, but we're not even connected to the sun. We're now we're using this fucking imaginary thing, virtual thing called the clock to control people. And all of it really is just to increase productivity and, and make more material things and more profit doesn't make sense it's illogical and irrational so now that i've brought to your attention that this prison guard here could be sucking your the life out of you could be sucking your soul like a black hole sucking all that light or your life force like a black hole recognize that i need to free myself from this thing and the way you free it is up to you that is not for me here to talk about that is not for me here to tell you what to do because I don't you got to figure it out on your own right but this thing here I mean you want to figure out a way to at least manage it and not let it control you and control it rather right now look I have a life where I do whatever fuck I want right I mean that's how I make my living right? Through YouTube. And I still bound myself by this sometimes. I really do. I'll wake up. All right, so I make two videos today. And then you get a, you have a client and then this and that. But I use it. I control it. It doesn't control me. You understand what I'm saying? I could wake up and be like, oh, I'm tired today. Let me just go out for a walk. And so I get a lot more flexibility in my life, the way I set it up, where I don't look at the clock too much. I don't let it dictate my life. I dictate it. When I need to use it, I use it. I say, all right, Saeed, you know, you got five days now to, to, do, the, to do this, for example. You know, like I, I had a, a, a date to finish my book and it's done. It's just, I got to release it and everything, you know, so I just got to make the sales page, blah, blah, blah. So it's done though, and I set the date for me April 1st, that I would finish it before April 1st, and I did. I really did, so I'm using the clock thing here, I'm using time, this clock thing, April 1st is just time going, right, until it's April 1st. I'm still using it, but along the way, I didn't write my book, I didn't fucking tell myself, all right, this, this, this. I just kind of wrote it as it came to me, you know, like sometimes I fucking write it at 11 p.m., other times I'd write it at like 6 a.m. Sometimes I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I'll have the fucking inspiration, them use. I'll go and write for like an hour. So still, it was, this wasn't dictating me. I was just letting the force do its thing. And I was using this, not being used by it, right? I mean, it is possible not to live, with, with, to live without this thing. But in current society, it's very difficult. It's very difficult not to. I mean, you got to date with a girl, you know. Can I, I need, let's meet up at this specific location, you know, at this specific time. 
So you still use it, but don't let it use you. That's my, the moral of the story here. That's my, uh, to, to finish off my rant in a maybe productive manner, in a, in a practical solution to, the, to your predicament. Because we're all, this is the prison guard, we're all controlled by it. At least we all start off life controlled by it. Don't let it control you, control it. God bless you all. And also, before I finish off, connect with the actual thing that this was based on. Connect with the sun. Connect with the light. Connect with the stars. Try and wake up at 5 a.m. Wake up with the elements. Tune yourself back with nature. Right? And see how you're doing at, like, keep an eye on the moon, on the phase of the moon, and see how you're feeling because we're 70% water, right? And the moon literally controls the tides of the ocean. In many ways, it controls our emotions. And even studies have shown that people make the most passionate love and most hideous crimes more so in the full moon, on the full moon, than when it's just a crescent. Because we're pulled by nature. We are nature. So instead of even, you know, to take it a little bit further, you know, don't let this control you, control it, but also connect to the source of the thing that this virtual, completely illusionary thing we call clock that's control society was based on in the first place. Then you will find the flow of life within you and you will, you will realize that this is bullshit. This doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But again, we're living in a society, so make use of it. Just that's all I'm saying. God bless you all. I love every single one of you guys, but don't forget to subscribe right now at this clock, at this time. Okay, right now. Don't forget to subscribe or you're going to sleep with the fishes.